are you right now a role model for somebody else? Would you be the role model you would have had years ago? Would you be an example of what years ago you would hope for? Now no. you want even more. So what you're doing is, here's the game you're playing, and I want all of you to hear this. No amount of money will ever make you wealthy. Because as soon as you get there, you will raise the game. Now here's what's great about that. To continue growing in all areas of life. If you could grow emotionally, should you? Yes or no? Yes. If you could give more, should you? Yes or no? Yes. If you grow intellectually, should you? Yes. If you could give more love, should you? If you could grow more financially, should you? Yes, because growth is life. But having to grow in order to feel significant enough means you will always be poor. It's a game that never ends. Success in life comes from good judgment and good decisions. Good judgment often comes from experience. And experience often comes from bad judgment. Because whatever you focus on, where focus goes, energy flows. See someone who's missing limbs or in a hospital bed as normal because they kind of more or less look like a human. It's to open our eyes widely and explode the idea of what the heck normal is. Uh, who's normal? Who wants to be normal? It's a very boring idea. But yet we have this referent. We have this standard, this magical, mythical standard, whether it's a body image or whatever, that we're always comparing ourselves to or are held to as a standard. That's just completely made up. I don't anymore look in the mirror and see someone missing stuff. I don't mean to be bragging, but I just mean naturally at some point my system accommodated this as my current reality and it was a full reality you gotta be so hungry that you want it so bad that you can taste it beyond it that's how you succeed and that's the bottom line for you that make excuses you don't want it bad enough so don't make excuses and just do it no excuses everybody's like well i do it for myself i'm going to get in a better health that's not good enough. I want to be the best that I can be to show others that I'm dead serious about what I do. And you're going to have that passion, you're going to have that drive. And if you do that, you'll succeed at whatever you do. Who here hasn't suffered? 100% of people suffer. Even if we can't really pithily define it, 100% of us die. Tonight by far standing ovation, everybody loved you. Nick, thanks so much for what you do to be an inspiration for all of us, definitely myself included. To me, like when people see me do this stuff, it's truly really not about the, me or the wheelchair bodybuilding or the wheelchair dancing. It's about to show others that anything is possible, to show you guys to be the best you can be. Yeah, I may not be able to do certain things, you know, with my legs, but I do the best that I can. Because like, when I was laying in that hospital bed, like, you know, I wish that the wreck would have taken my life. I wish I would have died. I got so depressed, my weight went up to 300 pounds. But I realized, what's the one thing you gain from losing everything? Perspective. That's right. And when you hit rock bottom, what you got to realize is you still have a rock. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really, it's truly about a perspective and also your priorities. Because if you can understand to be the best you can be, you'll feel better about yourself and you'll succeed something beyond. It's like I do this because I love it. Because a lot of people make excuses because they're not passionate about it. They don't want it bad enough. And they got to realize that it's like, in order to make things happen, you got to succeed. You got to educate yourself. Whatever you're doing, whatever niche it is, you become awesome at it.
You know, light and dark, they need each other, right? You, can't, you don't see light until it hits something dark. It's a, there's a reciprocal relationship. You cannot have one without the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah.